Hey, what's up, guys? EQZ here, and welcome to season two, guys, of our Paris FC career mode on FC24. And today, we're going to kick off the new season in League One. We're going to try to see how we do this season. I mean, really, the goal is going to be to try to stay up, essentially. But I think we can try. If we get some good signings this summer transfer window, I think we can, you know, make a run for the top 10 spot. But here we are, season two, and we got a lot of work to do. Look at that. Paris FC, this second Paris team in League One now, and PSG, we are coming for them. Now, sorry if I sound a little sick or just a little bit low on energy i don't feel that great right now i have a sore throat and just not feeling the greatest right now but i wanted to get this video out for you guys regardless and since it is just a transfer window you know obviously i can take it slow i don't have to like scream when i'm playing so it'll be a little bit of a chill episode today as we dive into the uh the second season of our paris fc career mode let's go ahead and take a look at our squad so players have left we have had some players that left that were on loan so alec Hooch, as you guys know our right back from last season is gone our one of our best scorers love last season tory is gone and he's been replaced by caddy who i think was out on loan but tory is out and who else did we uh, let go of i think uh i think that's it i mean obviously adrian he had a one-year contract only he is out and other than that alvaro is going to be out soon but we are going to re-sign him in this episode but as you can see we have a lot of players that just were gone and our squad is looking very very thin now so for the objective for this episode is to try and figure out who we are going to sign and what replacements we need now essentially we have tory here at center back he's still gonna grow tremendously i think we have mambao here still at center back but i think he's just a little too old already 24 years old uh he's gonna be a great backup but in terms of being a starter i don't think it's in the uh, in the books as of right now and then obviously a goalkeeper in cambario i would have loved to try him out last season more but i just i just didn't and unfortunately i mean he's just not gonna be ready of course playing in league one so we're gonna have to get a new goalkeeper maybe a left back and a right back although cory is pretty young so maybe he could survive and grow as the season progresses and then Gordon as well uh, we might need to look at replacing him other than that i mean i think our attack is decent cowl is gonna grow he's 20 years old still cabal is our main star i mean he's a little older but i still think he's you know 75 is a, is a good pace for him and then guay as well a little bit older 72 rated but i think he can last for a season while we look to reinforce our defense and then obviously alvaro gonna be 22 years old gonna be growing as the season progresses and i definitely want to re-sign him so we are gonna do that in this episode we might need to get another cdm though who knows man duke he is already of age and just does not seem to be really you know what we are looking for and then we have this guy caddy he's 27 years old same rating as tory but i think i'm just gonna let go of him and we're gonna try to get tory back in the squad we obviously still have a lopez here in the squad pembele mubama is still here so hopefully these types of players will be growing through the season susa who got injured unfortunately but should be back by the time we start the season but yeah we're gonna try to get some of these players uh you know resign i'm gonna show you guys my transfer hub and i actually i have not seen our 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 budget so we're gonna take a look at that before but we're gonna look at our objectives first for the season to know what we're working with so our youth development they want us to sign a youth player assigned to the defender position we will use the youth academy actually more this season because last season i didn't really use it purely because of budget reasons and then they want us to sign at least two players younger than 20 years old with potential greater than the average uh, overall rating of players in the uh, the same position and long term they want us to sign a youth player and then play them in five matches brand exposure a little bit more medium it says sign one crucial first team player assigned to a midfielder position so that might be our cdm position that we might be looking for we can get that out of the way real quickly as well and then financial within two seasons increase your club worth by 50 percent through player sales and competition prize money rewards so two seasons we got plenty of time to do that one and i think that one is completely doable and at domestic success it is low still so they want us to avoid a relegation the coupe nationale reached the round of 16 and then within two seasons finish mid table so they really have low expectations for us but we're going to try to do better and exceed those expectations especially in the first season i mean avoiding relegation i think is completely doable but it's really about finishing higher up table that's going to be that might take a little bit more time let's go ahead and take a look guys at how much they gave us this season now i honestly feel like they gave us like a good amount but i don't know how league one works you know usually in the premier league they give you so much money for just you know getting promoted so i don't know how it is in league one we're going to go ahead and find out though let's see if we get so it's oh that's not not the greatest 16 million is the uh, 16 million is all they gave us i mean it's doable but it's not a lot we, we had like what nine million last season so they gave us only six more seven million more to spend so it's gonna be definitely hard but i think really we're just gonna spend completely on the defense if we have the defense reinforced i think that would be great so for first order of a business we are going to re-sign alvaro here so it says settle buy option we're gonna go ahead and settle it and it says pay 3.6 million which is what we agreed on we're gonna go ahead and pay it so there it is so let's go ahead and make him a permanent paris 
FC player and see what we can do with his wage. Maybe we can try to reduce it just a tiny bit. Obviously, he wants crucial. That is, you know, he's going to be our, our pretty much our, our solid right there. And we're going to sign him to a four-year contract like I always like to do. And what's a two-year contract? That's interesting. Uh, let's try to do three years if we can. And he does accept that. So that's not too bad. And then the wage. So he's on the 17 and a half or 17 and a half thousand. Uh, I mean, let's try to get him on. I don't want to insult him, but let's try to get 10K maybe. And he does not like it. So that is actually not what I was looking for. I mean, I, I should have looked at. I mean, it says weekly wage 10 and a half K. And he wants 17. I mean, we're buying him for. We're not buying him for that much. But I mean, I guess I can understand why he wants. So maybe we'll try in a couple of days to see if we can try to reach an extension there. Someone that I do want to re-sign though is Mohamed Torre. An absolute star for us last season. He got injured, unfortunately. So his progress was a little bit stale. But I think this season, if he can play a full season for us, he will be absolutely amazing. So let's go ahead and try to approach the buy. 1.9 is what they're saying. I could probably try to get him for a little bit lower. But let's go ahead and see what we can do here. We'll try to really lowball him at first. We'll go 1.5 mil to start with it. And then they just want to sell him close for 3%. And that is absolutely fine by me. So there we are. So let's go ahead and try to get the contract right this time and not insult him too much. So he wants a boring, which is interesting, but it's pretty good because definitely going to be a crucial player. But let's try to get him on a four year. He likes that. No release clause. And then the wage. Like I said, I don't want to insult him, but I should have looked at what I could have signed him for. And they say 10K is reasonable. So there you are. So we have re-signed our star boy from last season, guys. Mohamed Torre is back in the squad and ready to get back to work here with Paris FC. 1.5 million. I mean, very, very cheap, obviously. He's 20 years old, so he still has, he's still very young and he has a lot of time to improve. And I think with this season, if he gets some goals, we will have a great, great player on our hands. And just to show you guys my transfer hub so far. So I put a couple of uh, center backs here that we can maybe sign. So we have Jaka Bihol. We have Bianchetti, Benkovic, and Ayu from all from the Serie A. So we're going to see how good these players are. And then we also have Zach Steffen putting in from Manchester City because, I mean, obviously they have Ederson. So Zach Steffen, we can get him some regular playing time. And then you guys said maybe I could try to go for Hugo Lloris if all fails uh, because he is really cheap. Obviously, he's older, but just like Adrian, we could sign him for a year, keep him on for a year, and, you know, he'll be good for us for the year only. And then after that, we actually try to go out for a nice solid keeper that will last us. But preferably, if Zach Steffen is not that expensive, I will go for him instead. And obviously, we have a couple players from last season. Uh, Adin Gra here, Akuler, uh, Farias, and then Lewis Hall. Probably players I won't be able to sign. Obviously, these two I won't be able to sign. Lewis Hall, it could be an option. He is pretty young still, maybe. But we have already Sousa and Godin. So I don't think it's going to be realistic for us. And then Adin Gra here. I mean, we have left winger secured already. And I think I'd rather just spend it all on the defense for now. So we'll go ahead and try to see what our options are there. But like I said, if you have any suggestions for any center backs, goalkeepers, just anyone we can buy for a good price as we only have a little bit of budget uh we're left with 14 million after that we're probably gonna be left with only 10 mil to be honest and it's gonna be really spending on the center back and the goalkeeper so let me know in the comments down below who i can try to sign and we can go from there now some players that i do want to put up for sale i mean he's just not going to be playing for us caddy i mean i just don't have any he's not in my plans right so i'm gonna go ahead and add him to the transfer list to see if we can get at least something out of him and then pembele as well he will be uh joining the bristol city so he's gonna be leaving us so that's a little bit of depth that we're losing there but we have some other players that will just fill in for that spot unfortunately guys i wasn't able to get alvaro in time and his loan has expired we're ready to go ahead and try to see how much he would cost us um i mean maybe he might be even cheap he's already at a 73 rated so that's not the greatest is it his value has gone up tremendously so it might be uh might have to try to get him on out on loan again if we want to we still can't approach to negotiate so we have to wait a couple more weeks but we do have a transfer offer for caddy here and they want us to offer so they offer 1.25 million we're gonna try to delegate a little bit here maybe try to get 1.4 but if not then that is you know it's fine by me and they have agreed to the 1.2 million but seattle sounders 1.3 we're gonna accept that one there and i mean i would like to see i would like to just get the sounders one but if the other one accepts it i mean it's only like what 50k off so it's not like a tremendous amount of difference in money but there it is caddy has left and it is to elect a poznan who offered 1.25 million dollars for him so he will be going out like i said just a player that is not in my plans i mean we already got we brought back Torre, and he is going to be the starting striker up top so and we have mubama as a, as a backup and they're both young so they have time to grow caddy was already like what 27 years old so unfortunately there's nothing i can do there this is the preseason tournament that we have been invited to so i mean i would love love to get some extra money if we can it's going to be difficult for sure to win these games but if we can win the preseason that's an extra a million that we can use i mean basically made to, towards wages or something 
And look at that, guys. Alvaro, $7.5 million. So we might just have to try to get him out alone again because, yeah, he's just out of our budget as of right now. And I'm still waiting for all these center backs to get back to me for the scouts. So we're going to go ahead and see how that goes. But look at that. It's actually interesting. Mabao has got up to a 70 rated. So could he be, you know, an option for the future? I'm not really sure, to be honest. I mean, he's 24. Maybe he has he has room for improvement. And maybe this, this duo will be good for us if we just get a goalkeeper and maybe we get another right back instead but I, I don't know let me know what you guys think in the comments down below we do have the final scout reports for some of the players that i scouted let's go ahead and take a look at them we're gonna go ahead and go to our transfer hub here i hope they're a good rating at least so we have uh yeah this is actually pretty good we can work with a lot of this in some ways uh this benkovic guy might be good for us 74 rated i mean he's at his he's at his prime right now so that's not bad at all so might have to look at that stefan as well 75 rated I, I don't know what you guys what do you guys think loris is much older he will degrade for sure when we have him he's gonna go down probably to probably to like a 79 78 Zach stefan has a couple more years on him and i mean 3.5 i mean it's not much of a difference and we could definitely have him for longer if we wanted to so let me know in the comments down below guys what you guys think of who i should sign should i get zach stefan or hugo loris I'm, I'm leaning towards stefan right now because of the age because of how you know how we can have him for much longer but loris i mean he's just the better option in terms of rating right now and it looks like alvaro is probably not going to be an option for us anymore guys because i can't even loan him so buying him is just really not in the not in the talks right now unless we can try to get some money but right now i i don't know let me know what you guys think really it's I, i'm it's a really typical decision because we don't have a lot of money we need a cdm unless we go with you know just one cdm and possibly two strikers mubama and tori up top that could be an option we play a four i don't know like a four one three two or something like that you know or uh or we can get a cdm and we just lose out on the the center back perhaps because at this point mabao isn't looking like the the you know it's not a lot of bad option but let me know what you guys think we definitely do need to get some players because look at that our, our our squad is thin we have no reserves at this point anymore so it's looking very very bad for us but we will go into our preseason games we're gonna sim all of them as always we're just gonna get into our pre-match report just to get the uh you know the check mark out of the way playing against derby here 532 holding they got two players uh cash in and for now here and they play standard tactical vision let's go ahead and kick it off we're gonna go with uh just our regular formation for now and then i think in the next one i'm gonna switch it to the, the one with two strikers to see how that does but let's go ahead and quick sim it can we get a win here and we actually do 2-1 guay coming off a uh, a good season second top goal scorer picking up where right where he left off two goals 9.9 .9 rating so that is a first win there so it's definitely possible we could try to win the preseason tournament our second preseason tournament game a pre-match report as always they they play a 4-2-2-2 or 4-2-2-2 and they have a uh, gondorf as their key defensive and then uh when it's stack when it's like a key attacking player i'm sorry if i mispronounced that and they play a wing play tactical vision so let's go ahead and get into it can we get another win here i'm actually gonna play the same formation that we just did because i mean it's been working so maybe on the last one we'll try it but we'll go ahead and see what happens we're gonna quick sim it can we get a win here and we get a draw which isn't too bad go with another two goals though that is something he is i mean i hope he has a good season because i mean last season yeah obviously he had a great season and i just hope he can kind of carry on that form and it looks to be that way so there is a draw i mean that might be our our title hopes or our preseason title hopes like out of the way because uh i mean we're tied with uh with two teams so if we if we get the win could possibly win but we have to get a good amount of like goal differential as well let's go ahead and do a pre-match report four two three one just like us and they have no key defensive or attacking player and they play wing play that's interesting but let's go ahead and get into it we're gonna play the, i mean just like like i said the same formation let's go ahead and quick sim it can we get the win on our last game and we get a loss so yeah that is pretty much the preseason over and we unfortunately cannot get the the extra cash so we could not get the extra cash guys so we are left with 16 million in the budget right now we got a little bit of cash from the player that we sold caddy so that's not too bad but i mean we can try to like i said we could try to get something some players here uh, i really want you guys to let me know in the comments down below because then i'm just gonna make a decision that i don't know if i'll be able to live with it essentially so uh i mean first off this guy right here benkovic is really really looking good for me i mean 3.8 million is a, a great price and then we have stefan as well 3.3 million 
as well. That's already 6 mil. So we still have 10 million to have in the budget. And honestly, we could get Alvaro if we do go with that. I mean, it, it is possible. But like I said, we could go with Alvaro and maybe a right back instead as... I mean, Mibao is looking like he he could be the one to fill in for that spot there as Corey is probably our other weak link in the squad. But he is 20 years old as well, I think. He's uh he's actually 19, so he has room to grow as well. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below, guys, what you guys think I should do. Who should I sign? What, what position is really like the most important at this range? Obviously, we're going to sign a goalkeeper. So let me know. Should I sign Lloris or should I sign Zach Steffen uh, for Manchester City? And then the question becomes, should we sign Alvaro? Because, I mean, look looking at it right now our weakest link is the cdm position without Al alvaro um, unless we go with a with just one cdm and like i said two strikers or something like that you know to fill in for that spot uh, we could definitely do that and that could definitely be an option but like i said mubama isn't like the greatest striker either so i, I don't know it it's a really big big uh a tough conversation to have but let me know in the comments down below guys what you guys think i should do uh don't forget to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy and go ahead and subscribe if you are new and hit that bell notification to get notified when all of my videos go live don't forget to check out all my social media down in the description below and yeah that's gonna be for me today guys i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one